What's up guys, Sam here, and this is another episode of Video Game Pickups, mostly if you don't know if you haven't watched the last episode of Video Game Pickups, I pick games from charity shops and pick other games and try to resell them on, on eBay and stuff like that. If you don't realise, my last episode I actually sold some stuff, so yeah, and a profit, so um, you know, profit was Mario Double, Mario Double Dash sold that, um, if you know, some people might be interested still with the items. Um, the four items I did sell last week, um, last episode was Mario Double Dash, Legend of Zelda SP, really proud of that, she sold that, Team Raid on the Sig Saturn and Metal Slug 7, those are the games I sold, if you saw any games that you were like, oh I didn't, I saw that game and I really want it, you know, you can always ask, so, um, this episode is going to be mostly based on the Playstation, um, I picked up, how many games did I pick up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 on the Playstation 2 and 4 on the PSP, a um, bit of a low pickups, but um, two on the PlayStation 2 are worth about £10 or more. So I'm um, going to start with the PSP stuff. I went to Chumpster today and picked some stuff up. It was kind of empty um, in the case of the stuff there was uh, sport titles and stuff like that. I'm not paying that much on that. So um, the first game is God of War Chains of Olympus for a pound. Um, for a pound for a PSP game, it's not bad because I can charge £3 um, postage and. Um, I can always do that, and you know, even by it now, I can put three pound and um, and three pound postage and uh, three pound buy it now or whatever. Uh, a sealed game for the PSP. I got uh, Passport to Amsterdam. It's actually sealed, so you know, if you don't believe me, it's sealed. Um, pound as well. It's about a two pound game. Well, it's not even a game. It's a passport. It just shows you, you know, facts about Amsterdam. If you rather not, you know, rather don't smoke weed, you can you can always get a PSP and play that. Um, this was a pound at Oxfam. Um, the, there's two Oxfam shops in the Chapswood area, and one of them sells crap, and the other one sells DVDs and games and books, and like it's like a massive shop. And go upstairs and just hundreds of games. And um, I picked up this because I've seen this game go for not much, but you know it's a game. Um, the History Channel, The Great Battles of Rome, for a pound, not too bad, I mean, anything that's a pound, like, pick it up straight away. And next thing is 300 Marks of the Glory, on the BSB, pretty decent title. Um, so all of that, four pounds, these four games, not too, oh, not too bad, not too shabby, I, you know, I would happy pay for four pounds for all of these, you know. Um, next thing's got some PlayStation 2 games, just five PlayStation 2 games today. I'm gonna save those two to last because they're the most important. We got EOE, Eve of Extinction, for 99p. I picked it up because it looked really bad. It's like Stone of the Star Wars, it's got lightsabers and stuff like that. So 99p. Um, manual's not there, but the disc is in really good shape. These two games, I'm actually doing a let play on one of my channels, so, um, you know, you should definitely check that out. They are platinum editions, so they're not going to really do well. Um, my hair's more messy. Um, but, you know, I got Star Wars, the video game, the video game, for £1.99. Um, I've got the complete saga, actually, on the 360. There you go. That's what I'm doing as let play now. Soon that will be up for sale or trade or, you know, mostly for sale. So, um, that. Yeah, that's pretty decent, and you can't go wrong without the Let Star Wars to the original trilogy as well. So mostly that is the old episodes like the New Hope, Return of the Jedi, and um, the Empire Strike Back, and these are the the crappy ones. And everyone knows that the old ones are the best ones. So the ne next two things I get um, are really good because one of the shops didn't even know how much this game goes for, and the other one does kind of know where I went to CX. Well, I went to Cash Converters. And I picked up a game called Sniper Elite V2. It, I picked it up for £4. It's about a £20 game in CX, and I can know I get trading value of about £12. And there is a game that I really want in CX, and I'm thinking, oh, this is about a 15 quid game. So technically, I bought this game for four quid, and for four quid, I think this is worth it. Um, Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. Awesome, awesome game. It's a kind of like a theme park game, but it's the Jurassic Park Genesis world, and full manual. Um, and it, it says £12 that I paid free for it, so I got it for free, but technically I paid it £4 so I actually bought a game that was worth £4 and I went, yep, I can trade that. So, um, awesome game, it's about 
15 pound game, 10, 15. Uh, if you find this on the PC, it's about 20 pound game, and you find it on the original Xbox, you're talking about a 30 quid game. So if you ever see a Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, pick it up because you're always going to make profit. And the last game I picked up from, I think it's the British Heart Foundation. I I, I knew this game was worth something because um, because you know this game actually doesn't even have a scratch on it. And um, I picked up this game. It also has the manual. It looks awesome. Any RPG you find on the PS2, you pick it up straight away. And um, one pound ninety nine, you can't go wrong for a ten pound game. I go. So yeah, those are the games I actually got this uh, week for game hunting. Next week for game hunting will be a little bit low down because of my work, my hours, and also I'm not going to get paid as much. So um, I'm really happy that I made some profit last week. Like my Legend of Zelda SP, I made like a thirty five pound profit. Um, I'm looking at the other stuff made. Like Metal Slug 7 I made like a £10 profit, you know. A £10 profit is enough to buy all of this and to make more money. Now, if you are guys interested in buying any of the stuff, that I've got an eBay page down but in the description. Or if you are interested in buying a certain game that I've showed you and you're like, oh, I want that game, just PM me or put comments and we can sort something out. So, you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, if you are a Call of Duty fan or whatever, I've actually got myself a new controller. I bought myself a new controller today, so um, videos of Call of Duty and GTA Online will be out soon, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. See you later. Bye.